Hey friends, it's Kaylee Bird and welcome back to my channel, but not my studio. I'm actually in my mama's studio today. How lovely is this, right? So nice when I come down to Florida. So I'm really excited, you guys, because I am going to show you how to turn a simple glass jar and a clothes hanger into something that the art store wants you to spend $15 to $22 on. Yeah, for a jar and a wire. So we're not gonna do that, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make your own coiled paintbrush cleaner. Now I use this for oil painting, but you can use it for acrylics or watercolor. It's basically just a way to clean your brush in the jar. So stick around and make sure you pop that subscribe button for all the good thrifty artsy goodness. And uh, yeah, enjoy the tutorial you guys. It's the easiest thing in the world and I'm gonna save you 15 to $20. dollars Yay! All you're going to need today is a wire clothes hanger and a glass jar. Grab some pliers and wire snips and make sure you've got eye protection. Alright friends, now I highly recommend you use just some old food jar or something because we don't need to buy new things of course. Um, I This is a pimento jar and I put one of my lovely stickers on there. If you guys need stickers for your jar, check my website down below because i got lots of my uh, art on really amazing vinyl stickers. Um, but I'm just using, it's like an old pimento jar, but the thing is I wanted to talk to you about is you need to make sure that it has the little rubber ring within there, okay? Because some jars are just like flat metal on the top and that will leak, especially if you're using like turps or turpenoid or whatever, like you wanna make sure that it is definitely like water or whatever liquid tight. So it's not a bad idea even to put a little water in there, squeeze the jar on and shake it around and make sure that nothing comes out, okay? I've already checked this one, but make sure you got the little rubber seal, okay? And the other thing is, please wear eye protection when you are cutting these wires. I am telling you, I've cut wire for a lot of projects and a thousand times I've seen it shoot off in some direction that I was not expecting it to. So please, please put something on your eyes while you are cutting this wire, okay? Thank you, thank you, your mom thanks you too. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of went ahead and took mine apart a little bit, but I'm gonna snip this part off, so that's why I have my sunglasses on. There we go. That one did not shoot off, but I'm telling you, it has so many times. Okay, so now I got a nice kind of length of wire here, whatever. Check this out. So I'm just gonna kind of grab it by one end and start to basically just circle it up. Just kind of twisting it, and it's not gonna be in any kind of beautiful purple, perfect circle at all, at all. Just kind of twisting it around. Sometimes having two really helps here because it can be a little sore to do with your fingers, okay. So I'm literally, and honestly, it being kind of like this is better than it being flat because it will hold itself up, you know what I mean? Like that would be on the ground, on the bottom, and then this. And if you kind of do it to a bit of a circle, then it can kind of like snap in there a little bit. You know what I mean? So it's not, you know, you might need to adjust it a little bit. You know the ones at the art store are like perfect and they perfectly fit inside of the jar. I mean, that's nice and all, but that's not 15 to $22 nice. <laughs> so here we go. I got it a little bit bigger at the base. So it'll kind of fit up in there. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. That's so amazing. That is exactly 100% what I needed. And this is the size. And that's the nice thing when you make yourself, this is the size that is gonna fit in my art bin. If I would have bought the one from the art store, it would have been too big. So this is perfect, look, that's it, I'm done. Can you believe it? Ah, yes. So here's a close up on my little jar, you guys. You can see it is super simple. It's definitely not perfect like the one at the art store, but it is gonna work just fine. Just add a little bit of my I'm using Gamsol these days, but my little mineral spirits, pop it right in, and before you know it, I'm going to have a clean brushes galore. Quick friends, if you want me to, drop me a note in the comments and I'll see about 
doing a studio tour of my mom's studio. It's gorgeous. She built this. It's a freestanding building right by the lake in her backyard. It's even got its own bathroom and outdoor shower because, you know, the apples don't fall far. Um, but it is amazing. If you guys thought my studios were organized, you should see how she built everything to be hyper organized in here. So drop me a note and I'll ask my mom to do a studio tour if you guys are interested. All right. Thanks for being here. I love you guys.